Diane Chambers, and I'm an OBGYN with, Norman, uh, with Women's Health Care of Norman. Today I'm going to talk about pregnancy-induced hypertension. It's a little complicated to talk about, but I'm just going to go through the basics. Um, pregnancy-induced hypertension is defined as high blood pressure after 20 weeks of pregnancy greater than 140 over 90. So every time you come in for an OB visit, we're checking your blood pressure, we're also checking urine. You add high blood pressure and protein in your urine, and then we have something called pregnancy-induced hypertension. Um, other people refer to it as preeclampsia, eclampsia, um, PIH. Um, there's a lot of different terminologies, but it's all basically the same disease. Um, pregnancy-induced hypertension is something that we just develop in pregnancy. Um, certain people have more risk factors for it than others but it's just something that happens. It will happen to the healthiest people in the world. It will happen sometimes to people who um, have had it in the past. But as a general rule, it happens in the first pregnancy. It happens with people who are either very young, teenage pregnancies, or very old, greater than 40. Um, and sometimes it happens with people who already have established blood pressure problems. So if you have high blood pressure already, you're at increased risk for getting this. Um, it does not necessarily go uh, along with the family history, although sometimes we do see it in the family. Um, it usually um, only happens one time. There are a few people who will get pregnancy-induced hypertension every pregnancy, but normally it happens one time and the rest of the pregnancies can be normal. Um, so when you come in for your OB visits, you automatically you get your blood pressure checked and then we dip your urine. And we also follow protein in your urine. Um, protein is normal for a lot of pregnant women. Um, most people will have trays or, or a small amount of protein. It's when you start having a large amount of protein in your urine that the physician, we start suspecting maybe something's going on. So what do we do with it? Um, unfortunately, pregnancy-induced hypertension is not treated with antihypertensives. You can't just take a pill and make it go away. So normally, if um, you have it very early in pregnancy, um, before the time that we can induce you, we put you on bed rest and have you do a high protein diet and just you know take it very easy. That will sometimes control our blood pressure long enough till we get you to the point where you're inducible, which is usually term. Um, there are different types of pregnancy hypertension. Um, some, there's a mild kind, which we can treat with bed rest, and there's a severe kind. If you're severe, um, we have um, blood work that we do and bed rest doesn't work. So you will be delivered if you are severe. If you're mild, we normally recommend induction between 30 to 7 weeks and on. Um, can you prevent it? Not really. Um, it's just something that happens. It, um, um, you know, there's all sorts of things on the internet that might suggest prevention. None of us have figured out how to prevent it, um, and we're, the only way we know how to treat it is to have a baby. So um, it's just one of those things that happen in pregnancy. Um, let's see. Um, sometimes we will have you check blood pressures at home if we're concerned. Otherwise, there's no need, you know, in a normal pregnancy for it's something new to worry about. That's the reason you see us on a regular basis is because we're going to follow and we're, that's one thing we're definitely looking for. So, um, signs of severe pregnancy-induced hypertension, a lot of times when you see a physician, they're going to ask you questions and you may wonder, why in the world are they asking us that? So, things that as we associate with high risk for severe pregnancy-induced hypertension is headache that doesn't go away with Tylenol, um, worst headache of your life, abdominal or epigastric um, pain that is not associated with reflux, um, blurred vision, and um, some just unusual gastric effects. Those are things that we're going to ask about um, and what we're asking for is possibly signs of um, PIH. So, okay.